Hey, how's it going? Well, I just want to start off by saying that I understand that a lot of these concepts that come from uh, intersectional religion, or whatever you want to call it, are not real Marxism, are not real socialism, is not real communism, right? The problem is, real versions of those things have never really been implemented anywhere. So it's frustrating that anytime someone complains about the stuff that's being promoted, uh, the primary com the primary retort is, oh well, those aren't those aren't real versions of those concepts. Well, whatever they are. Whatever they, these things are, this religion of intersectionality, where you're supposed to judge people on their group identities rather than uh, who they are as individuals, yet yeah, it's, it's gaining ground. It has a lot of support in universities, it's being promoted in HR departments, it's made its way into media. So whatever the, the right name for it is, you know, this kind of mindset is spreading. And it's destructive. It's a spit in the face of the meritocracy. It's a spit in the face of equality of opportunity. It's a spit in the face of people who have fought for equality and I don't want to see it gain any more ground, you know? And I do worry that since Biden is such a puppet and he's been just pandering to to these people. I mean, it's kind of the same thing as Trump pandering to religious fundamentalists, you know? It's the same sort of deal. Now, will he actually... Will he actually uh, promote those things with his policies? I don't know, but he's sure pandering to them. It's a worry. Having said that, um, I still worry about Trump more. I still don't like so many things about Trump. I don't think Trump will actually, I mean, Trump has said in some of his speeches that he's against this type of thing gaining ground. People don't like the fact that he's wording it as socialism. Oh, that's not real socialism. That's, you know, oh, he's just against uh, change. He's just against equality. He's just, it's just like, well, whatever. He's, hmm. Is there going to be a train coming across here? Well, anyway, um, yeah, there is eventually going to be a train coming across there, so, huh. Well, anyway, Trump has made claims that he wants to, uh, that he wants to tackle some of that stuff. Yeah, there that is. But I don't see him doing anything in action. I don't see Trump actually taking care of any of this stuff. I certainly don't see the Republicans actually doing anything about this stuff.
You know, I don't see anyone. Wow, that's loud. I don't see anyone doing anything about this stuff. God damn, that's loud. Holy crap. That's some loud shit, let me tell you. Wow. But yeah, I don't see anyone doing anything about this stuff. I see this stuff spreading no matter what. Even if Trump decided that he really was going to try to do something about this, all it's going to do is stall it for a little while. And in, uh, in four more years, it, it would be f at full force, you know? I unfortunately see the only way of this changing is for us to experience just how awful these ideologies are. This ideology of intersectionality. This idea we should look at people for their group identities rather than who they are as individuals. You know? We're gonna just have to see how horrible it really is in practice in order to go, oh, yeah, maybe we shouldn't have done that, you know? So, but Trump, I can't, there's too many things about Trump that I can't, I just can't, I just can't get behind. Far too many things that I just can't get behind. His handling of the coronavirus, yeah, I mean, he did uh, block travel, you know, to China and back, right? He did do some things, but the way that he's looked at masks, the way that he the whole time has shit all over the advice of doctors, the advice of scientists, the way that Trump also looks at the environment. Doesn't seem to give a shit about the environment. It's deregulate things, so... We've got a lot more pollution. You know, he's, he's just, there's just so many awful things about Trump that I can't support. Now, if he started to really show that he wants to do something in policy about this spread of intersectionality, then uh, maybe I, I, you know, maybe I possibly could consider him a little more, but the way it's been going, He's just saying things to get uh, popular points in on social media. He's just trying to expand his base, you know? No, he's not trying to even expand his base. He's trying to pander to his base. I don't know why I said that a little bit ago, but... Um, I just don't see a fast end to this madness that's spreading. I just don't see an end to it. Not until we actually experience just how awful it is. We'll start to watch our freedom of speech go out the window. Be lots of excuses for why that should be considered okay. More people are going to lose their jobs for stating their views if they're not in line with that, uh, the only accepted narrative now. 
things are going to get a lot worse. Things are going to get worse before they get better. So, I'm probably going to vote blue even though I know the outcome. But I just can't see us sacrificing the environment. I can't see more bad choices when it comes to the coronavirus. I can't see I mean, what worries me about Republicans is they still... If they're given a chance, they will still vote against women's rights. They will vote against abortion. They will vote against trans rights. Trump has still been pushing against trans rights. You know, it's, it's just, I just can't possibly support that party. So, we're just going to have to deal with, uh, at, at a quicker pace, deal with the fallout of the religion of intersectionality making its way into our everyday lives. Guess I don't know what more to say. Um, sorry this was so slow paced. Hopefully the visuals were okay. Thanks for watching.